back, relax, maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do another SBFBO review for you. If you don't know about the SBFBO, I will put links to everything below and also link other videos I've done for this round. And I'm excited to tell you guys about today's book, which is Wings So Soft. Now, this one is one that I was keen to read because I really liked the cover art. It was very ethereal and swooping and elegant. And I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. Little did I know that this was quite the romp. And I mean that in the best way. It is very steamy. So if you're not interested in books that are very, very steamy, then this is probably not for you. It does have LGBT themes throughout, which I enjoyed seeing in the background. The main couple are a male-female couple. However, there is definitely lots of representation of non-binary characters and characters who are not in necessarily straight relationships and who are queer and who are different in different ways. And I really liked all of that representation. I will say this story is one of the better written ones that I have come across for SBFBO. I think the author clearly has written other books. And in fact, this particular book is set in a universe where the other books they've written are also set. I think it's a sort of prequel to a lot of their books. So it's definitely nice to see an established author working in their world. The downside of that is that this world clearly is already established and it's really cool. But I don't know that much about it from this book because you only get glimpses of the world building and the world to me was actually the most exciting part of this whole book. Would I read more from this author? I can categorically say yes I would. The author seems great and I'm very excited to read more of their work in future. In fact I've actually been recommended to read their work by a couple of people since finishing this one so I'm very keen to dive into other things within this world and find out more. But what is this story about? You don't have to know any of the other works in this universe to read this book. However I do think there probably is a benefit to knowing that because I think you'll just have a more solid foundation of how the world and what, what races there are in the world is set up. Having said that, I didn't have any prior knowledge going in and I didn't struggle with the story in any way, um, but I just think there would have been more understanding there from the start had I known a bit more of the world. I think the plot of this one is really about just embracing and seizing the day. We are following a world where there are myrrh, who are a kind of race of people, and there are humans. And we are seeing from the point of view of the mayor, who are fighting a war against the humans. The humans seem to be winning at the moment and it doesn't look great for the mayor culture. We are following two main characters, both of whom are involved in the war effort in different ways. We have Mara, who is an owl handler. She has a special circlet that she can put on and when she has that on, she is able to connect with her owl, Cleo, as Cleo flies through the skies and they can work together to use Cleo as a sort of spy. They are able to look at the humans and what they're doing along the front lines and report back to the mayor within the walls. And they are just generally um, a valuable asset to mayor kind. Now we also have Ufrin, who is a young um, artificer, sort of. He is working on a mechanical owl to do exactly the same kind of thing that Cleo is already doing, the real owl. Um, so he is honing a design and perfecting a design to have a mechanical owl go out into the field and basically do everything a real one could. Um, so he is working on mass producing these and being able to kind of refine and redesign them. And that is how the two of them meet. He goes to see Mara because she has a real owl and he is making a mechanical one. Now, I will admit from the moment that they meet one another, things get pretty steamy. Um, at first, it's all in their heads and they're all, you know, thinking about what they might do to each other. And then it becomes reality not long after. So this point onwards is where the book goes really into steamy territory. Um, I would say it's probably borderline erotica. There are a lot of sex scenes. There are a lot of imagined sex scenes um, and foreplay and all of that sort of thing. So it's not a book for a younger reader, that's for sure. Some of the things that I found really cool with the world was the mechanical aspect. It seems like this world has got magic and it does have mechanics and sort of science as well. You could say that this is maybe a bit of a weaving together of sci-fi and fantasy, but there is a lot more magic behind stuff than there is science. The science is never really explained and the magic is definitely prominent there through um, gems and kind of different technologies that seem available in the world 
There are sort of futuristic elements like this stream, which they can call up and do things and message things on. Um, but there's also these mechanical owls. There's different types of magic that link the humans with the owls. So there's a lot of stuff in the world that just found really interesting. And I liked seeing more and more of that tech come in as we developed our storyline. I would have liked to know more of the origins of it. So I think that's why I want to read more from this world for sure. There's all sorts of different races as well. As we know, we've got the mare and the humans, but we've also got dragons within this world. There does seem to be a magic of like foresight that some characters seem to be able to have. And then there is a group meditative state, which seems to also have some semi-magical properties to it too. So there are magical things going on in this world um, all around. So what did I really like about this one? I like the characters. I think they're both easy to connect with and it felt like both of them cared quite deeply for the other one, which was nice. The owls, of course the owls, um, both Cleo and Friend, who is the mechanical owl, were by far the coolest characters in the book. And I would have loved to see more of them and their connections with their humans, because I just think they are really interesting characters to have. Um, um, we could always do with more owls in more books, I think. As I mentioned, I loved the world. It was something different, something intriguing, and something I want to see more of. And the writing felt really solid. I never found myself bored with this book. I always found that I was easily engaged in whatever was happening in the actual storyline and with our characters. And as I mentioned, there is a lot of representation in this book, which I also really like. Things which maybe could have worked a little bit better for me. The steamy or erotic level is not a problem in that I don't mind reading sex and sex scenes, but I do think that at times the story was actually derailed a bit by the steaminess because there were some times where the characters were in a situation which was basically them doing their jobs you know they're doing stuff for the war effort they're really trying to save their people um, and it's a moment where you think god oh, they've really got to be engaged in what they're doing with their owls and so on and actually they're kind of thinking about the other one a little bit too much and getting a bit carried away with their thoughts and getting into like rompy territory when actually they should just be doing their job. So there were a few moments where I sort of questioned whether realistically now was the time to have a little bit of a, a steamy descriptive scene. I do think that the scenes were done pretty well. They were fun. Um, but I just think maybe there were some moments that I personally don't think I would have been thinking about that, even though, you know, when you're in a new relationship, everything's exciting. I just didn't feel like I would have got to that level as quick as these characters did. The sex definitely overtakes the seriousness of the war and the plot. And I do think that there is a couple of moments where the sex just becomes the whole thing. Like it really does feel like I'm reading an erotic story, which is okay, but it was just not quite, like I didn't realize how erotic we were going with this. Um, and it does go on for a couple pages. So, you know, you have been warned. The sex is there and it's prominent. And as I've mentioned, I just wanted to see more of the world. I wanted to have more understanding of how it all came together, how it all came to be. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff at the end of this book with development of new things. I won't go into any of that particularly because I don't want to say where this plot line goes, but I do think there is a lot of potential at the end of this, which sets up very well for future books and presumably some of the books that are already written um, link in with this in some way. I don't know how yet because I've not read them, but I liked it. And I would say overall, my nitpicking is mainly to do with the level of sex in the book um, because it was just a little bit too much for my personal tastes in some situations. Um, but with that being said, I do think it's a solid story. I think a lot of people will like this, especially if you are looking for something steamy and rompy with a fantasy slant and a good world and good writing, then this is probably going to be your jam. So I gave this one a three and a half out of five, which equals a seven out of 10 for SPFBO. And I definitely think it's going to be an author that I will return to and hopefully read more from in the future. So I'd love to hear if you've read any of this author's work or if you plan to pick their work up soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Do let me know if you want to read this one and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye all. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book and come back and chat with me again.